everybody, this is Nate coming to you from Palin Music Center down here in Springfield, Missouri. And what do we have today? Well, we got the Gibson Kirk Douglas. I'm talking about the Roots and or Spartacus. Either one would apply for this magnificent guitar. This is really cool. This is actually the second guitar that Kirk, Captain Kirk has done with Gibson. And uh, what's immediately striking about this, probably as you're looking at it, first of all, black and gold. Classy. And also, if you ever have the opportunity to have a guitar that has the word captain on it, imagine how many rehearsal disputes will be settled by just saying, who's got captain? Oh, I do. Okay, captain. We're doing it in 4-4, drummer. Anyway, but how cool is that, right? And it is a, uh, it's a, it's a tone machine is what it is. You've got a master volume on here, which isn't like a normal thing. And I'll talk about that in a second. But here's something that's really cool. If you've never played one of these three pickup SGs, here's what you got going. This knob here is actually the volume for the neck pickup, which is pretty normal, right? This guy right here, but push pull pot. How fun is that? Then you got this knob right here, bridge pickup, push pull pot also. Here's where it gets different. You'd think that you'd have a volume knob, and actually in the old one, they did have a little volume knob hidden in there, but on this one, this guy in the middle is just kind of normal Gibson thing where you've got your typical pickup configuration. But right here is the ability to blend in the middle position wherever you're at. So, and then a master tone. So with that, there's a lot of really cool tonal options. Um, let's just run through a bunch of these and I'll just kind of tell you what I'm doing and we'll just have some fun. Here we go. All right, bridge pickup. I'm on the Bad Cat Cub 15. I've got the EF86 tube engaged, fat switch, all the gain up. Here we go, one, two, three. <laughs> expect nothing less from a Gibson SG on the bridge pickup. Now let's kind of mess around with this. Ooh, that was actually with the cold tap engaged. See, what do you learn? All right, regular bridge pickup. Coil tap engaged. Now I'm gonna roll the, I had the, mid, the middle pickup into that. I'm gonna roll that totally out. Listen to this. I'm gonna roll a little bit in. There's like a, um, like a mid-rangey kind of like little hump that you can kind of roll in with that middle pickup. It's very cool, it's very cool. All right, let's try something else here. I'm gonna go kind of more of a country thing. I'm going to roll this game back, turn the 12x7 on, leave everything like it is. Everything cool tapped all the way up. That's pretty cool. And also, that thing that I opened up the top of the video with, I mean, there is a lot of, you know, jangly kind of um, getting into that kind of churchy realm of things here. Listen to this. I'm going to crank the verb up. And while we're on that sort of thing, if you listen to this master volume here, it's really smooth. It gives you the... You know, 
I am normally not a three pickup, especially humbuckers kind of guy, because I feel like it gets in the way of my pick. And SG typically isn't my thing, but there's something about the synergy of all these pieces together that's really, really cool. I love all the pickup options. I could keep going on this, but I think you get it. There are a lot of different tones in here. And yeah, I mean, it, it does the classic, you know, turn the tone down, get on the bridge, pick up. <laughs> Almost in fuzz territory land. It's a killer instrument. I think you got to come check this thing out. We've got them down here in Springfield, Missouri, Palin Music Center, and be sure to stop by our website at palinmusic.com. We will see you soon.